Fraser, you came off the bench today, played a pivotal role in the penalty shootout when it went to sudden death. What was going through your mind when you took the penalty? Uh, not a lot really. Pretty confident to go that side, to be fair. Uh, practice penalties yesterday, obviously. I think we hoped that we'd have saw the game out earlier and take it to penalties, but obviously went to penalties, so I had to step up and take one. And I feel that. Frustrating, I guess, from the boys' point of view, because as you say, it was a game that we were well on top in. We had a lot of chances, but just couldn't put them away today. I think if the game went on for another hour, I think we'd, we'd have scored for open play, to be fair. But uh, nah, at least I think probably in a game coming up, it looks like we'll probably give someone someone a doing kind of thing. The amount of chances we're creating, we're in the right position, but it's just maybe not going away uh, at the time. But as I said, the game should have been out of sight, and uh, it's down to us to make sure that we win the game in 90 minutes and they'll have to take it further. I guess that's the encouraging thing though, we were creating the chances and as you see on another day that game could have finished 5-1, 6-1. Yeah, on another day it could have finished a lot more. And uh, Obviously we are creating the chances, Darrell's put in numerous good balls in the box and uh, obviously uh, Big Dodge is there to ne nearly grab a few goals as well so we're there but uh, it's just that final bit, try to get the goal. I think, I think maybe on another day we'd have, we'd have got five or six. Christian looks like a big workman-like striker. He doesn't give defenders a moment's peace. I'd hate to play against him. No, he's brilliant in training as well. Obviously, gives gives his all. And on the park, you can see, tracks back 80 yards to defend. Obviously, good in the air, good at holding the ball up. And he's a good asset to have in the team. The Betfred Cup, it's one of the wee things about it. It gives it that wee bit of different interest. When it's a drawn game, it goes to that penalty shootout. And I guess at the end of the day, two points, you know, that, that bonus point might prove vital. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, two points obviously better than one, but as I say, we are, we are hubs, we want to win every game that we, go, that we play in, and uh, I think we should be linked to do that, and obviously today we should, no disrespect, but mo most <coughs> games we play in, we, we should look to try and win every game. You've got that, that situation, though. Sterling Albion, not going to just roll over for us, they defended well, we still got in behind, obviously, the comfort of creating chances. From our point of view as well, there's the advantage that it's getting more minutes into the players' legs, although it was a competitive game today. Yeah, no, it was good to get some more minutes and obviously some of the boys getting 90 minutes as well. But I say, they, they defended well, obviously they made it tough for us. And the uh, pitch as well was quite narrow, so they were right, right on you. So if you take a touch, they're obviously sniffing about you, nicking the ball off you and that, so you need to be sharp. But, uh, aye. And the manager was telling us that you've got three hard days ahead of you next week. Has he uh, let you in on what's going to be happening? No, nah, to be honest, no, I've not heard any of that, but hopefully, looking forward to the next game, Just that can't come quick enough after after today, and hopefully put it right and get get the goals we deserve. Yeah, the first game at Easter Road against Aloha Athletic next week, a reasonable crowd there, as I say, I'm sure the boys will want to get the, the season at Easter Road off to a good start. Yeah, it'll be good, good being back at Easter Road, back in front of the home fans. Hopefully good numbers to let me put on a performance and win the game. And from your own point of view, your targets this season is just to, to keep yourself in the manager's thoughts and get out there and get a starting place as much as you can. Yeah, hopefully it's every chance I get, hopefully try and impress and show show what I can do and hopefully hopefully that'll take take me take me places. But obviously right now I'm just, just focusing on trying to play well every every opportunity I get and hopefully see where that takes me. He does seem to be the sort of manager that will give younger players their chance. We've seen that with Josh Campbell, and, and he certainly today tried to grasp it with both hands. Yeah, um, he played well today. He's been training well and playing well in pre season games. So, and obviously, last year was on loan at Airdrie, and uh, obviously in the reserve league as well. He, he's been a good player for us as well, so he deserved it. I'm happy for him.